This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 389 for Wednesday, April 7th, 2021. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Good morning. Good morning. We have a very, very special announcement this morning. We have two. Two. Very special yes, announcements. Yes, two very special announcements. Right, you go with the first one. We want to wish a very special happy birthday to our own beloved Eric. So, happy birthday Woo! to Eric today. Um, and then we found out yesterday that uh, our very own Mr. Paper and his wife had their baby. So, congratulations to Chris and Elise yes. on baby August Allen. Their very own post it note. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Post, Mr. Post Mr. Paper had a post, had a post it note. Excellent. Congratulations. Um, That's really exciting. Yeah, really, so. really fantastic. Just Hey, what do you uh what do you call Oh God. An army of one year olds. <laughs> Daycare. Infantry. Well, that's kinda cute. <laughs> <laughs> So what you're going to do is just torture no, the people at home. No, I am not. You are. I am not. I I'm going neat. to inform. Inform. Um, Torture. I, okay, just so a couple things from last week that we talked about, but I just wanted to bring them up again, uh, mainly because we actually, they, they were coming in or whatever. Uh, Twizby Draco. See, you're torturing people. Well, no, 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 no. So <laughs> Twizby Draco, our first batch came in and it, it was gone. Poof. Um, but this is a beautiful pan. One of the perks of owning a store and spending all that money all day, every day, is occasionally you get to keep a pet. Occasionally and you get to keep a pet. Brian decided, even before the Dracos arrived, that he really, really wanted one. So Yes. Well, I, I actually, before this, I only actually have two Twisbees. I've kept, I've kept two over all the years. We had a couple other ones. We, we, we sold them. Um, I have the original 540 in sapphire, mm -hmm. uh, which was my favorite color. I actually have a spare barrel for it, just in case. Uh, and I have the the, the beloved uh, Macarta Macarta 803 clipless. Yep. Um, which is a really, really a stunning pen. And now I have the Draco. So the, the Draco here, piston filler, of course, nice ink window, uh, rose gold trim, and uh, we sold out. But there are more coming. So yes, if, so it's you, not really torturing people. Yeah, it's not really torturing people. Um, this is gorgeous. You know, without my glasses on, it looks like an Aurora. It, it reminds me of the Optima. It does yep. remind me very much of an Aurora <laughs> Optima with the gorgeous marbling, the ink window. You don't mind if I just take this over, Dave? It's fine. Um, you can bring it back. I though. love the rose gold trim. Yeah. Um, I like that. The logo, the Twisby logo, is imprinted. It's not an actual yeah, it's like disc. A, it's like, so I like that. Yeah, it's really, really super cool. Really gorgeous. Um, you want one. We are getting more. Uh, they sign up for the back in stock, so if you didn't get one the first time, um, I think they're coming around Monday. Because we, we talked about it last week, and it came in on podcast day. Um, so pretty. Thank uh, you, Lammy, for coming out with a really great color. Can I make a confession? You want one? Well, you want a ball? No, plate? no, 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 no. You no, want no. a ball plate? No, hang on, hang on, hang on. The ion came out, and it came out in black, in like this olive. They called it olive so olive. Olive silver. Olive silver, but it, it was, was kind of silver. I, I kind of thought originally the ion was kind of boring. There was no reason. There was nothing to entice me to buy it. Sort of like the Cross Calais. A big size, a nice size, a nice weight, but black and silver. Like. But there's, yeah, there's other options. <laughs> here's here's your reason to buy an Ion. This green is fantastic. Look at you getting all excited. I, I, I actually didn't see these until last night, believe it or not. They've, okay. they've been in the store. They've been on the display. I just haven't, I haven't seen them. Where have you been? Uh, I've been working on something we'll talk about later. Okay. But uh, Ion now in dark green. Uh, fountain pen, roller ball, the ball point's roller even cool. And the ball point. Um, you know, it's really, f I, I want to have some kind of a montage. Justin, work on this. Of all the times of I said the ball point the times was cool. That Brian, of the evolution of Brian. <sighs> That's just brutal. From that adorable picture that Hugh mocked up that yes. with you with the license plate that says ballpoint hater. Uh, yes, I still have To it. now, Thank you, you waxing poetic. 
Well, you know, about ballpoints. I'm getting older, and I'm getting <laughs> <laughs> getting older. I'm getting less fussy, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah. I'll, I'll stop while I'm not ahead. Uh, but anyway, this is a beautiful, really a nice finish. I, I was not expecting something so nice. Um, it's, you know, the, of course, it's the brushed aluminum. and. What were you expecting? I don't know. I mean, because like I say, you know, the, the black and the silver are cool, but they didn't do anything for me in this. Knocked it out of the park. Yeah, this just this ticks a lot of boxes here. It's really a... So which one are you going to get? The ballpoint, the roller, or well, the I'm fountain? Well, I'm not getting the roller. No, I it would get I would get the fountain. Well, it's I mean, so it's, snobby. What's What do you have against rollers? Well, if I'm going to get a roller, I'm going to get a fountain. But it's nice. It's really nice. It's got a nice matte section here is color coded i love it when the section color matches mm -hmm. and i love it when the section is not shiny yeah yeah so anyway uh these are in stock uh they're really pretty super super cool looking grab one before brian um, gets all three field notes uh we have some um field notes that we've recently added to the site they're coming in this week um maybe even today uh we brought back the D&D uh, &D character journals, and um, I'm surprised our son doesn't want He didn't one. get one? I thought no. he got one. No, I think Steph did. He like plays D&D &D like it, a couple days a week. Yes. So. Uh, they also have Game Master journals, which is very cool. Um, we also uh, will have the uh, limited edition Snowy Evening. That looks neat. Every cover has a unique snowflake, snowflake on it. I wonder yes. how they did that. And the dot grid, each little dot is a snowflake. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, yeah, they're just okay. they're just so okay. creative. That reminds me of the the uh, the Hemakuri with the little cat paw prints yep. on the paper. Absolutely. Um, the Haxley is coming back for a limited time, and the limited edition U.S. of Letterpress. Um, so we'll have all of those. And that's uh, a three part. Yes. There are three of them. Yes, they actually, um, the description will explain that there are nine different ones and they sent um, a color palette to several different places and asked okay. them to kind of design something. So uh, they gave the different letter, pr letter press um, shops some creative license. Great. And very, very interesting, including our own Skylab letter press. Oh, nice. On a, Great. And Bob. So letterpress is just really neat. It's just really yes, yes. So those are very cool. Classic. Uh, the Colorverse Nebula note notebooks. Um, well, we we teased everybody last week with one. We did. <laughs> um, it didn't have them all here. Yes, but I did have that tea gray, yeah, which that's... I think didn't arrive. Uh, no, it did actually. Oh, did it? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's my favorite color. Uh, so we've got the white, uh, <clears throat> and these come in lined or blank. Yep. Pink. This is really pretty. I mean, just gorgeous spring colors. Let me see this there. mustard here. What is this? It's yellow. It looks like a mustard. It's like sunny yellow. You could put a, a sailor pirate's life on there, maybe. Would look good on there, don't maybe. you think? Maybe. Sure. <laughs> or a wanderlust. Wanderlust? You're jumping, uh, ahead. You're jumping ahead here. Red. So anyway, uh, several, several different colors. Uh, lined and blank. And don't forget that the blank, for those of you who are like me and can't right in a straight line, come with really cool journaling guides. Yeah, Two guide sheets, sheets double-sided with um, some really great options for journaling. Including ink um, Yes, two different swabs. ink swab options. Yep. Yeah, so that, that, that that's pretty fun. Nice. Because, you know, in the past, if you wanted to do that, you got to be, you know, and this is just... It's way too artistic for me. Th th this is, this, this just makes it easy. Easy, yeah. easy so. peasy. And really nice paper. Mm -hmm. um, I really appreciate it when companies send us samples in advance so that we can play with it. Yeah. Really, really nice. It's because everybody always says, oh, it's great for fountain pens. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> until you actually... not always the case, but this, yeah. th this is good. Platinum Classic mach -E One of my very first pens. You, you, you've had a couple. Um, I actually recently got one, sort of. I uh, got one... Before we met. Probably. Long, it was one of the very first pens I ever bought, um, actually before luxury brands had platinum. Oh, I bought okay. it from Scott Woodside. <laughs> okay. And uh, loved it. I've had a couple others, sold them, bought more, sold them. But I've always kept my leaves. Okay. Well, there are there are some designs like that you and I have that have been discontinued. And then there are currently are uh, eight different 
uh, styles, and there's two different patterns. Um, there are ones that have the mock screen maquillé on the barrel, and then only, and then those that have screen maquillé on the barrel and the cap. So um, feel free to grab one or two of them here. Uh, I'll start out with the the Bush Warbler, which I think is is really, and it's interesting to note that the the ones that only have the screen maquillé and the barrel have a more uh, fallish color palette. Uh, they're more um, uh, orange and brown and, and silver and gold. Except this one. Well, that has maquillage <laughs> on the cap and the barrel. And it's brown and fallish. And it has green. See, so um, the, the, the simpler ones have, a, have an interesting, a little different, different style to them. Uh, we've got the Bush Warbler, which is a, just an adorable, adorable uh, little guy. Uh, and uh, the Phoenix, mm -hmm. and there also is another one. I don't have it here. The uh, the Mount Fuji, um, the Mount Fu Crane and Mount Fuji. <clears throat> Crane and Mount Fuji. Yep. Um, and then when we get into the the cap and barrel screen maquillé, then you get some other colors. So this one's this one's really kind of right. nice. Uh, the Sakura. Uh, we've got the autumn leaves on the cap. Uh, the big Mount Fuji, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. Um, the koi? Yep, absolutely. That's nice. You had this one at one point. The moon and uh, rabbit. The moon and rabbit. Mm -hmm. The rabbit is great. It's actually got, what I love, it's got a little purple in there. Yeah. A little splash of purple. A um, little pop of color. But these are these are really nice pens for They're the price. They're great writers. And I hate saying for the price, but in, in today's market where gold where just keeps going up and up and up. Gold is astronomical these days, and everybody just went through a price mm -hmm. increase. Um it is a good value. These, these are not to be overlooked. 18 karat nib. Very smooth. Um, you know, Japanese nibs do tend to run a little finer. I don't find that these are quite as extreme a step down, um, but just really... A, it, they only come in fine and medium. Right. So if you are looking for a broad, it, it's, it's not available. As as it Mediums is, a Japanese medium is as big as right. it gets. But, but nice, nice writers, um, a nice size. Uh, you, know, you know what's great about these? Is the screen maquillage, I'm going to tell you, yeah. yeah tell is me. you can post these without yes. worrying about damaging. Yes. Uh, you know, if you had a regular, if you had a real, uh, real painted, hand painted pen, you wouldn't post it. Now, I know Namiki and Sailor uh, put something in the cap so that protects the, the Rushi, but. Uh, these you don't have to worry about it. You can put it on Beautiful. there. You're good to go. Yes. Um, nice, nice pen. Little snap cap. Which I love. Yep. It's convenient. So cartridge converter. Yep. Um, we have them available. We got the um, the Cross Wanderlust, and I really liked that there were four designs, and they were inspired by four different places in nature. But they're just really pretty. Um, they also have some bling on them. There's a little... A little bling. A little gold or a little silver accent. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's Malta, Borneo, Everest, Everest, and Antelope Canyon. I like this. This is nice. And so the, the Everest is the only one that's got the black trim. Yes. Uh, so we initially only had, what, the roller and the ballpoint? The roller and the ballpoint. I just wanted to try it out. Right. And I did really well with it in Chicago. People loved it. Brian finally got it in Appleton. And then um, we just recently actually uh, expanded into the fountain pens. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice thin thin pen. Now Steel this nib. is based on the Century, Century two. 2. Yep, Century uh, 2. So mm -hmm. thin, thinner than... Some pens, similar to a classic maquillé, actually. Yeah, a touch, touch thinner, maybe, because it's tapered, at least, on the yes. barrel end. Um, I bit. love that it snap caps, but mm -hmm. it's a soft snap. Yeah, it, it takes posts. a little bit. It reminds me of, uh, you know, it reminds me of Faber-Castell, where you got to push a little bit harder. It's got a, yeah. it's a more secure feeling on the clip. Posts the well, which I really like. If a pen doesn't post, it's a deal breaker for me. Oh, this blue is pretty, isn't it? Um, the section is slightly ribbed. Yeah, it is. Which yeah. I really, really like. You know, some plastic sections just get really slippery. Just a really good-looking pen. They're, they're, they're a good, uh, you know, steel nib. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. But the um, cool thing is it's cross in color. It's cross in it color. It was really Absolutely. quite the departure. In the cross family. Yes. Oh. Um, same thing. We had originally um, carried the Bailey 
rollers and ball points, mm -hmm. and even the gift sets at Christmas. And uh, again, a really um, nice weight, a nice size. I love that they post well. Yeah, it does. You know, it's a it's a it's a, it's a more classically styled pen. Uh, and it's got a brass barrel. It's got weight to it. Absolutely. Uh, but it's like in the price of a, a Pilot Prera. You know, I mean, it's not. It's a steel nib. It's it's not going to be mistaken for a Mont Blanc or but a Namiki. But it's it's like a little black dress. It's very yeah. classic, very elegant. But it does have a little bit of extra something. Uh, the trim band it has some etching, which mm -hmm. is really yeah, pretty. that is neat. Yep. Uh, and it's, like, got, it's got similar kind of a pattern on the yes. nib, too. Yeah. I also like uh, the end of the barrel has a little bit of metal, so that that's just a little... Yeah, and it, it, posts, it posts real really nice and secure. Well. And actually a good length. I mean, they actually... It's amazing how many companies make a pen that is not designed to pose. It almost seems like they just didn't try. But, I mean, this is just... It like fits that in That matches there. your shirt, It too. matches my shirt, so... You know, <laughs> these other <laughs> ones match my shirt. <laughs> Maybe, hey, this one over here. Um, right. No, but they're nice. They're, they're, they're a nice, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't want to say a beginner pen, but they're a good... Uh, um, you know, it's a good pen to take to the office yeah. um, and not worry too much that somebody's going to steal it. It doesn't look super super expensive, mm -hmm. super mm -hmm. fancy, super tempting. But it does um, look nice if you're in a meeting. It's very classic, very elegant. Um, you know, we have a lot of people graduating college, mm -hmm. looking for their first job, a nice looking pen. But um, quite frankly, you want to try something different that's not a, not a doesn't cost a fortune. Absolutely. Um, it's a nice look. Option, so. Very nice look. Uh, cartridge converter pen, and uh, of course, uh, roller balls and ballpoints points also available. So. Absolutely. It's uh, good to bring those in. Vintage virtual pen show that you <clears throat> briefly decided maybe we should put up. I, I, or you know, whatever. I kind of had a little minor. I didn't want no, to say meltdown. It's not a, no, it wasn't a panic attack. No. Uh, it was uh, a few you, days ago. I just. I, you were overwhelmed by how many pens you had done versus you wanted to get done. I think you just always want to over deliver. Well, I, 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 want, a, I want a virtual and pen show the way I'd want to see a virtual pen show. And I'd like my basement back. <laughs> so, see, <laughs> here, here's the pressure. Um, but. Um, no, I the other day I did just realized I, I don't know. I, I, right now I've got we've got over a hundred and we're getting close to one hundred and fifty. What's wrong with that? Uh, well, I had mentioned before a different number. Um, we're, no, we're not there yet. So you said you were aiming for two to three hundred. Yes. And so whatever you get done is going to be great. Um, people, local people, can come in first, which yes. I know is going to make a couple local people happy. Yeah. Um, and whatever you put up online is going to be all at one time so that everyone will get a chance. So I don't see the problem. So I, I kind of went overboard a little <laughs> bit on Esterbrook. Yes. So I, I wanted to get a good selection because Esterbrook always, when we put it up, it goes. Um, so I had a good selection. And then from there, I went into desk sets. Um, and, Which and makes me so happy. See, here's the scary thing. So I have accumulated and set aside <laughs> for the show in excess of like 30 desk sets. I know, I'm so happy. You can't tell I know, where they came scares from me. in the basement. So, I mean, I had a shelf that had a bunch of desk sets and it's a little bit cleaner now. Um, but we've got, we should have about 30 desk sets for sure, uh, including some really great Esterbrook, um, what we would affectionately call the eight balls um, and the, the, the tender, the, the slender uh, telephone uh, sets. But in colors, right? Brown, burgundy, teal, gray. I mean, all a bunch of colors. Uh, some dipless sets. We've got a couple of. Uh, I've got at least two doubles that I'm gonna uh, gonna get out. Yes. Uh, with of course pens. One of them's in the box, the original box, which is very hard to find on a, on a double eight ball. Um, We've got a couple um, platinum desk pens. We, we had a couple. Yeah, we had a couple Japanese. You know, uh, platinum and pilot each make a an inexpensive desk pen. And I managed to come across a couple of them. They're, they're not expensive at all, but I don't. They also don't really make a base. Platinum does make a base, but uh, I, I found some other bases that they fit and they work well. And that's the important thing. We actually had one in the store for about a month and a half, and, inked you up, just... and we tried it every day, and it worked great. So great. we've got a couple of platinums with really beautiful marble desk bases. Um, there's a Pilot that uh, actually fits. It's a little bit bigger pen, but it fits in nice on a, on a Parker uh, desk base. Uh, we've got. 
Uh, there's a 51 uh, vac uh, desk pen coming, and next week I should be working on some snorkel desk pens. So great. We got a good selection uh, of desk pens, Estabrooks, uh, 51s and 51 vacs. Uh, I'm working on this week. Um, so we got we, we have a lot coming in, and uh, the the details are. So the preview is going to be on Thursday, April 29th. Okay. So we're having, uh, we're going to have a video. Great. That I am going to somehow go through and show you very quickly all the pens to give you kind of an idea. Very quickly. Um, on <laughs> very cool for me. Uh, it might be a seven hour long video. Right. But um, and we'll, we'll, we'll slice it up into brands. So if you are only interested in Parker, you can skip to the Parker section. Okay. Um, but we'll do a preview video. We're just going to kind of go through. If there's any issues with the pen, we'll point them out there. Uh, the pens will be live on the website on Friday morning, the 30th. Okay. At 9 a.m. Central. If, central, yes. Uh, if you are local or you want to make the trip to Appleton, yes. uh, we're going to do the in-store event on Thursday the 29th. So we get a, uh, for local folks, uh, you get a one-day jump on the whole thing. So from noon until 7 p.m., we're going to okay, stay open late. Seven. Uh, we'll stay open late on that Thursday. Uh, we'll have all the pens out and ready for your perusal okay. before, before everybody else online uh, gets a chance at them. Okay. So... Uh, I'm excited about that. Yes. Um, and again, it's noon to seven. Uh, you know, you, I, we, we've got to get our shipping done in the morning. That's why we, right. we set it at noon. So if you come in before that, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll bring them out, but it may not be fully set up yet. So. so two things. Two things. You know, we talk about our basement all the time. <laughs> and I just want to clarify. That sounds weird. That sounds <laughs> it does. weird. It's not a, uh, it's, it's finished. We had it um, gutted and, and, Finished uh, bamboo flooring, uh, the walls. Nice shelves, really yeah, beautiful, beautiful shelves. Yeah, beautiful handmade built-ins and, and all of that. So it's not your classic dark, dusty cement basement. Well, we, we took what? We took a year and a half to finish it out. Yes. And then and that's... And we worked, that was our... That was AP. That was Anderson Pens for about six months. We yeah, and we outgrew it. it. <laughs> um, and then that was And then that, we moved so. into the store. Um, but then we have um, turned that into Brian's uh, repair area. Yeah, it's my it's a, it's my man cave with all my pens. Yeah, but it's not really a man cave. Man cave is like cool. This no. is just shelves full of ink and um, a lot of dirty pens and parts. Pens and parts and and you've done a great job of organizing it. But just you know, just to clarify that we're not just going down into the. The dungeon? The dungeon. Well, it feels like that sometimes. Well, sometimes. You've got heaters down there. I do. The lights I are got very heater, bright. lights, everything. That's it. There we have it. Uh, thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow our blog and social media for news, ink reviews, and all sorts of other stuff. And uh, like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye.